Say hi, YouTube. Come hang out with us on at Twitch.tv for slash price sizes. We're cool here, I promise. <laughs> Definitely makes it sound like we're we are in fact not cool here. <laughs> True, don't forget to subscribe. We're super close to partner on YouTube, so that would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we're, we're fun on YouTube, but I feel like we're more fun at, at Twitch, so come hang with us. Although I'll probably be doing more YouTube live streams soon. All right, cool. Let's, let's, let's do it. Also, let me know if you guys want it louder. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the High Sea. However, the God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan Is this from a, like, the cycle intense lore of the seven days and winds beginning? blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain like a newer area paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! Yeah, trailer time! On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, oh? I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members Ooh. in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. I wonder how they were going to do her music. She's so badass, Transfixed. dude. Everlasting at the moon. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. So we're going back to the desert? Traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow They're me to fighting her. You, however, few among us are willing to sit from a glass. Oh, boss Lakino. We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. Oh, so she looks so cool as a boss. That's crazy. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you? I want the fight to be so difficult. No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, <laughs> and no sacrifice shall be in vain. Dude. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. Good thing is is that when we watch this, like like this, we get to pause. Dude, so we're going back to the desert a little bit. This is really cool. Wait, I'm actually looking forward to this. Like 
<laughs> scared and turned on. I can't. I can't. Cause she looks so cool. Like where this little piece. Hold on. When they showed Why her. Why have you backed us into a corner? No, Demi. She looks like a. It's almost like a. Like a. Not like a butterfly. Restoration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. Maybe, but it's like something more epic than that. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. She looks so cool. She looks so cool. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. Bye, I'm change. Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice. Of <laughs> that they need to nerf her. The no nerf. <laughs> Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> For chat? Welcome no, you guys got this. Welcome! <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the house yeah, we of actually the get Lumine isn't this time. an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arla Kino, mm -hmm. the father the brooch of, on her neck, yeah. of the heart. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah, hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and right he's here, yeah. also a member of the House of the Heart. Looks a lot yes, like that. Yes. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, Max Middleman. Hey, everybody. What's Probably going Ito on? Probably Ito My bros, my guys, my dudes. I imagine. Dude, so good. Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. All right. Well, without mm -hmm. any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming That looked like version. a whole ass Archon quest, Aaron, right? why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons. Yeah, probably like towards and the end, maybe? they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like a- Side note, I, I've said this before, this piece of her design, this kind of like metallic spine on the back is just, that's my favorite. Everything that so we good. already know from the game. Uh, is, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the knave, the Surely? fourth harbinger of it would have to be Lumin, right? Still hiding She's canon. The unsolved mysteries. Hi, Star Phoenix. So, Wolfman. how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Okay, okay. First, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. She seems <laughs> like giving a, me all sorts of deja vu. Like a boss woman. Um, I guess during the Fontaine Girl Archon boss. quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally mm -hmm. get where she was coming from. But yeah. That's just an outsider's point of view, right? What Remember when we were all like shook that she had a ponytail? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's I love his a very DA. strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All Wait, right. by it the way. Like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though the kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Lenny. Who hurt this <laughs> knave? I want to know. Why are they this Any thought? <laughs> His range is... <laughs> he goes super deep. I mean, he's Blades VA, like which is, like, way she was deeper. Traumatized. Ooh, okay. Now, that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but <laughs> let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why do the children call her father? 
Ah, well, if you're oh, curious about this? Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. They, they weren't keep, they weren't going to tell us about it. <laughs> will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to <laughs> yeah, they are. Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version Looks 4. like we'll be doing will this. also introduce a new feature, the focused experience Ooh. mode. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So you're kidding me. They're finally giving us this. Oh, my God. Do you know how nice this is? For those who don't have like their quest log like, completely cleared. You, you, you'll be happy for this, because, like, I know I am. Hopefully this mode wow. will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. Yes, that's right. 100%. And in the future, this function will become 100%. available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines. It's fantastic, Aww. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, think about <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> start of a region, what they do is you'll get, like, a bunch of story quests, a bunch of world quests. Simultaneously, you'll be exploring. You'll be doing like maybe the start of the Archon quest, like in the very beginning of maybe like a brand new patch. Like that's when I feel like people experience it the most. And for those who've just been very busy and are not completely caught up, that's probably like a majority of the people. I feel like a majority of people are not like fully caught up. So that's going to be really nice. Um, I feel like especially, I mean, I hope they bring this to dailies because a lot of people were getting quest locked from their dailies. Especially in Fontaine. I'd love so. to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Yeah, I think like long overdue, <laughs> but very happy we're getting yeah. it. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Transfixed. Her like chair is the same as her. Um, Fatui Constellation. She survived the beta, guys. I wonder how much they're going to show of her, uh, her drift. Oh, oh, she's so cool, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, she's got a wing. Like she mm -hmm. glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like, that was a perfect description. Kind of like Asta from uh, Black Clover, like the one wing. That's the, that was the first thing I thought about. Like elegant but deadly, like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yeah, yes. first time seeing her. Yeah. She yep, does yep, yep. Is so effortless. I know, right? Yep, yes. yep, yep. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Final Fantasy VII. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. No, so this right here, that's her constellation. I'm pretty sure it's like a hand holding a like a candle kind of thing. I think that's what it still is. Remember what a bond of life is? Uh, you guys know what are you going to be teaching us about her ability? When Arlequino's elemental skill strikes opponent, it applies blood debt directives to them for a period of time. When Arlequino uses a charge attack or her elemental burst and it hits an opponent with blood debt directive, she will absorb and clear nearby blood debt directives. We're going to call that BDD. <laughs> Big debt. Okay, so this will grant her a bond of life worth a percentage of her max HP. Arlequino enters the mask of red death state. When the value of her bond of life is equal to or greater than a certain percentage of her HP, when her normal charge and plunging attacks will be converted to deal pyro damage, which cannot be overridden. Ladies, guys, you're too loud. Pile How can she get the same treatment? <laughs> Sorry, let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain Her attack, HP like she attacks until quickly, the bond which of is life nice. value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right? Very good, student. <laughs> when Standing in the burning grass. When has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal can see it charged down. and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, yep. which see, can't be as she's attacking, it's going down. elemental infusions. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. I wonder if she's the only character that we're gonna whoa, get that whoa, has something whoa, whoa. like this. Wait, 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 it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Bennett helps all pyro characters. Now, 
It's, espe it's especially if they're also attack scaling. Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As long wait as he's easy. <laughs> no, wait. I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlecchino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies mm -hmm. who can put a bond of life on her. Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Look at all that pyro. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charge Is there like something that's going to show on the enemy that shows they have it? Nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on Is the, it the number X? of directives yeah. that she absorbed. Has to be. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't yeah, I don't think she's going to be either. until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she that's stay my, in that's the That's my fight? thoughts, too. Well, after dishing out damage, Arlecchino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of that life. That completely cleared. Also, okay. Thanks to one of her talents, while Arlecchino is in combat, similar she to Child, I don't think so. Damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects. How, why do you other think she's similar to Child? Provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she next year, I was thinking like maybe not <laughs> soon, but like <laughs> probably. She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlecchino even has a and co-op cool justice for Frina. I don't. I don't think she can charge. get healed, right? Like I, I don't think she can physically get healed. Arched attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at all these over overworld power creep. Uh huh. Characters. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino. Yeah, she can only heal herself. Lenny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The weapon banner for this. <laughs> What are those uh -huh. charge attack oh, it's bows, about time you know what I mean? Introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. During well. the first phase of version 4.6, Arlecchino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. This is Linny's first rerun, right? The all Crimson Moon semblance will also right? become available. Yeah. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second Man. phase. So be sure. Why did they do this? Why did it have to be him this patch? Also, buys you again. It buys you again. Buys you's going on the Chronicle banner. Oh, <laughs> uh, rip. Okay, so for those who don't know, for those who don't know, like I've been acquiring Wanderer constellations as his like banners have been out. So this means that I'll be finishing up his constellations, pretty much, pretty much. But for those who want buys you, congrats. He's here again. He's here again. Um, which would mean. I mean, do you think they'll put Farls on on this banner? That's the that's thing. I wonder. I wonder. That, this is going to be interesting, four star. Yeah, this will be interesting for four stars. There's lore reasons, like she's already dead or something. We talk about this all the time. I'm pretty sure all of the Fatui are like undead. Like almost all of them. Plus or minus maybe child. Maybe. Kave. I feel like Kave doesn't show up until Nilu. That's the thing. I feel like Kave doesn't show up till Nilu. On how your Arlequina pulls go. Yeah, this weapon banner is not going to be enticing, unfortunately. Like, I wish he was paired with somebody, like, with a, with a better weapon, I should say. But I can see them... Like, these two both could end up on Chronicle banners, actually. Um, I think it's pretty clear why Farina's not this patch. You guys, you guys are, are understanding why she's not this patch, right? What, what, what's the number one reason why she wouldn't be paired with Arlequino? It's pretty simple. No, <laughs> not from like a lore perspective. She's scared. No, money. Are you kidding me? They want, they want this banner. They know people want Farina. You know, they know people. Th Farina's first rerun is gonna do really well. This is, they want people to be, like, they want people to pull for Arlequino and not be like, oh, Farina second half, I'm probably not going to pull for Arlequino type of thing. Exactly. Oops. It's so, it's so, like, it's clear as day. Crimson Moon yeah. Semblance will also become.
Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, SMH. so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, it I makes do. sense from a business Let's perspective to spread it out, but the they don't necessarily need more, need more money. Oh that's my God. right. Dude, her boss fit is so fire. Are you kidding me? Like, I like this more than her normal fit. Is that a hot take? This is fire. She's got like a little, oh, she's so cool. Dude, this boss fit is chef's kiss. This is chef's kiss. It would be super silly to run them. It would be, it would be a bad business idea to run them together. To destroy me. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey, welcome in. The more this is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Everything about this is, oh, I think this we is my favorite. just talking about how the Knave shows different like, faces to her family Raiden's members and second, to like her boss fit in is great. Don't get me wrong. Senora's is cool, but there's like, this is dope. This is dope. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is Are way too cool. Are you ready to see a new Knave? Yes, ready! I am ready. So ready. Yes, the music. Dude, this, I, this is so cool. I don't want this to be like a pushover fight. I want her to be like formidable. Oh, it's so good. It's like a, it's like a spider, like a spider butterfly, spider moth. You know what I mean? Like, are you kidding me? With like, with the, it almost looks like webs here too. Oh, so sick. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Also those wings, imagine those, but as like glide, like glider. Yeah, look at the X, see? Oh my god, dude, look at the back! What is Hydro MC gonna do here? <laughs> hey, Vegeta. Wow. I mean, dodging. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Mm. So dude, the absolutely sick. Challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh her delusion gosh. type? I mean, no, I don't think they showed it. I honestly don't. Wow. Because, like, you, I don't think we'd be able to tell here. Like, how do you tell here? No one spoiled that. I wonder what it would be. That's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe she's just, like, pyro through and through. She doesn't need a delusion. <laughs> Didn't want Wonder didn't technically have one, no? Wow. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so Ooh, that feels even more. To enhance her own vision. With the delusion? The well that's her vision. <laughs> It's her blood so constructs, that could be kind of cool. Side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson. Well, we heard child's voice lines, yeah, but look at her, look like at she'll that. She'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to- Pyro versus Pyro? Even if their opponent is their own father. Would be sick. I feel the like that has to be what it is. show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to Not them. the pyro one? Mm. If you... No, no, no. All the Fatui members have a Fatui-shaped vision. Or like a Shnezhnaya. But I think they're all... Like, they all hold the same, like, vision. Don't they? Like, this is... That's a Fatui vision holder? Correct? <laughs> Hold on. The Harbingers? Yeah, sorry, the Harbingers is what I meant. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I guess when, I, when I'm talking about Fatui like that, mostly meaning not not the like NPCs that that barely fight back. Don't think Lenny does. He is in a harbinger, is what I mean. Yeah, yeah, harbinger is what I mean. Yeah. To begin with, did he? No. Oh yeah. So his delusion was Electro. It was Electro before, right? And then. Then his vision, then it went away, and now he just has his animo vision. Not just Naya. Well, that's because Scaramouche is is gone. That's why. Like who who who's Scara? He's reborn, deleted from deleted from the system. From Fontaine? Yeah. Yeah, but he's not a harbinger. The harbinger. These are this, that's a harbinger vision because you can see a child has the same vision holder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mostly what I was trying to say. Lenny's not a harbinger. He's too young. Well, not not necessarily too young. He's just not harbinger level. He doesn't have that strength. A child must be older than Lenny, right? I feel like child's older than Lenny. Wow. Not, Not delusion. Lenny. He never had the gnosis until he got to Sumeru. He never had the gnosis until, until he was in his like mecha form. Fremine have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the knave is challengers now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so elegant. All right, we're gonna move ba if move back to where we were. Their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Hmm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her yeah, attacks and, uh, against you will be enhanced. Zuma, correct? But oh, not if you one manage shot, to Lynette, is that what that was? the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying <laughs> no. this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Ah. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. Nice. <laughs> look at his little cat up there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So does that do damage <laughs> while stop the introduction up here. there? Because usually those Let's things don't work like that. Let's leave space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. Mechanism. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce Domain bosses. Yeah! Ooh. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 Frummy or team? higher, they'll be able Good to luck, challenge Banjo. her directly by going to the adventurer handbook, going to the domains tab, I'm gonna selecting probably Trounce do all of it through and, and then I'll fight it that way challenge. instead of just ah, that's um, cool. that's a yeah. doing nice it early. a little shortcut to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh. That would be I'm my preference, at that. least. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. And it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available wow. in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay wow. tuned for more information. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay. Well, that's exactly Wait, what I'm thinking. It's so going to be well, it's going to be super it worth it. Enough for me. <laughs> yeah, give us more. Okay, okay. I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, so that's what Sino was. That was the whole Sino hey, thing. The way they I made it seem. The way they made it seem. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over them. Was that like both both stories were intertwined, right? They're very good about doing that when it comes to the trailers. They're really good about doing that. However, I actually did Sino's first story. Fun fact, because you guys know how my quest log is. I did it. This one looks oh, like it's gonna be better. This picture is right there. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Oops. Once a week, anyway. Exactly. Well, exactly. Sino wanted to. Plus, like, once you ex once you experience it, it's like like a first impression, and I just know it's gonna be it's gonna be so nice. That's the same way I did the whale boss. Same way, actually, I think that's how I've done every single weekly. I don't think I've ever skipped through. Then again, it's a new feature. Because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going well, on. Do they even the show the artifact details, the or do they just say like, "Oh, by the way"? Experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And they didn't even talk reason. about it. Okay, I actually. Uh -huh. Do you have other news to share? Ooh. This is going on YouTube. We'll talk about it yes, after. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
In version 4.6, for those who don't know, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved. But mystery. the Sino, the Sino story looks kind of lit. Personally, because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity. Who did Sino's first story quest? And the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. They'll share the details later. Violence, if the situation. <laughs> you think it's not done? <laughs> These are all very good guesses, but I'll offer you one clue that you, you probably did? Okay. wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A yeah, look at this little munchkin. Look at him. Connections to the mystery. He's small. Look at his look. Look at the drip. Four star. Mystery will make his day. Look at his hair. Why does he look like a mini Sido? View <laughs> during the case. Wait, to love the design. And he's so pretty. Yeah, exactly. He's pretty. Could be relative. Could be. Wow. People with green eyes be like. <laughs> if he's a four star, Mr. like this is the, 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 the mystery will make the drip power for you during the case. Hmm. I feel like he is going to be fun to play. I feel like he's going to be fun to play. Do we see a vision anywhere? There a vision somewhere on this little munchkin? Mystery will make his surely not an NPC, right? Debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's no friends vision. are not just freeloaders <laughs> who only. Oh, he probably does use the rocks. You can see in the video if you look closely, for real. This, this, this little thing that we just looked at. Not me going back and forth again. Guess otherwise, a mysterious youngster. I am seeing nothing so far. With connections. Nothing on his arm. So the mystery will make. That looks like a sand. Looks like a. Me not knowing names for things always pisses me off. On his hip. Oh, it's Electro it looks. Bruh. I think that's Electro. Make his debut during the case. Maybe. Hmm. And Sino. Hourglass, thank you. Simple words. Brain doesn't work. Is it Geo? It's Electro? Yeah, I think it looked Electro. I guess it runs in the fam. His friends are not wow. just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, think he'll be Kale, overload? I'll hate them, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's in this economy, story exactly. quest. Right. No, no, Damon, you're right. Oh, buffered. Okay. Let's check out the first redemption code. I see no drop frame, so we're okay. Before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> I think we have the redemption codes that on. Uh, That's what I thought. <laughs> hey, welcome back, everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story <laughs> yeah, of new area. and the House of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? OG Fontaine. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> Yes, you did such yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, <sighs> encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. Petricor. <gasps> no. Would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where Thank I'm supposed you, to really confidently Welcome say. In. Totally. Right. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so we're getting above ground and underground? It, there's underwater, definitely I should say. more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. The village looks this cute. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such Look a at glorious that. and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this hey, little Pixel. town looks a whole lot bigger. Welcome in, Raven. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> Love the floating anyway, books. <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished You guys wanted cats. Here you go. What? Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's amazing. Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> you think it's going to be voiced? As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus Reminds you of Mexico? a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. This is beautiful. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this I haven't even been here yet, and this looks like some of I'll the coolest underwater the exploration itself, so far. But you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnant slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> Norse and Royce? Yeah. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. 
You'll be able to pause the melody within the Yeah, this the is probably going to be a world quest, yeah. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with interesting objects in the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue You already know Ashika is going to be like, stopping and starting time, changing time. She's going to be like, what? Faded castle, silently yeah, a new boss who did. Of a great civilization. I know, never voiced. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. Ratio this you year. Can all just kidding. sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. He looks cool. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it. Me oh, too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint oh, in the village. Oh, look, there it is, guys. They're filling Hopefully in the hole. Travelers exploring the new area. They're filling I in the hole. I heard that this feature will return oh, thank you, for Kuda. many new areas in the future. Oh, so exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> All right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll <gasps> is getting popular in Inazuma. Rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's is all it? take it a might. short break before we get into the next section. I think it will. Take a look I mean, at maybe. today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. <laughs> okay, I hear that a musical tour is coming. A free Goro? And a horn. Okay, Yoimiya, Kuki, Heizo, Yai. This is, this is our boy from Fontaine that we saw in Leeway before we actually got Fontaine, I'm pretty sure, right? And more Ito things. Coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito Dvorak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell the us more about it? Yeah. It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um, Dvorak, I should say. My bad. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Both Hu Tao and Shinyan performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this Fontaine time, area? it's an epic tour for the ages. Yeah, the point eight by patch, none yep. other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh. oh my gosh! And even the concert name sounds really epic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. notice no, the, the little eel? Says, Iridescent Arataki rocking for life tour to force of awesomeness really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. <laughs> Yeah. And the theme of this We're actually getting more Hazo. He's life. still such like a mystery. Specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own composers. Yeah, he's like a spirit. he's like a retired and but not really retired you know opera singer, secret. right? Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. You have no Hazo? What? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Rutao and Shenyan, I'm gonna have to say you and more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical oh, it's a music event. to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. People are gonna be requesting to so join me for horn things. In real life, or may I play horn for you? If you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more from standard. He's just cool. From all the great I need one more to, to. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life tour to force of awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> all right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Extreme yeah. carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow. With Actually, some like rhythm games super vibe with the music event. Wow, those keys look really unique. But yeah, it is very really much are. a perfectionist. And the second task thing is from called where the I Trillion wanna... Trinket Trawl. Fully completed. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Perfectly. Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So. Travelers will be helping Dvorak We're going to Coco Island. set up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> we the have bell. the meeting of melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we got to invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. Interesting. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, 
be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up. All hold the songs? Up. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say wind trace, seekers and strategy? We were just talking about arrived. wind trace like last stream. Yes. Yes. I weren't we? love wind trace. And, and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name You already that the know game what I'm cooking. Changes, yeah? Right, guys? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Oh my god, it's like, is it like yeah. a, a Mogus? When rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for so a short period So what do you have to like do tasks? Now, Wait, what does this feel like Among Us? They will be automatically <laughs> freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, oh, interesting. you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. In the oh, world? No, each round will have six Winter signaling is devices, so funny. which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices traveler, capture, while traveler. also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels we'll from We'll be doing a bunch of random stuff for this while it's here. Because it's never permanent. Opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a This blast. might be peak PvP ah, in this she game. Gets it. <laughs> but the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels you think it's Dead by Daylight? Device, no, it feels more like uh, enter the Among high Us. Speed signaling state. What doing it tasks mean? it means with one person visible by every player except you don't know who, in fact, who is supposed the to device be will even be marked on the mini map Ooh, okay. imagine so trying to figure out who the, the, who the killer was expose your location oh, oh my gosh everyone joins <laughs> with the same name dude we could actually do this i'm doing it i'm doing it now mm. this is gonna be super interesting get ready yeah. yeah oh absolutely and in another event travelers will receive a rather strange commission. Ooh. What do you mean, rather strange? You think it looks better than old? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients. Protagonist wanted? He wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Huh? Oh, yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision. Under a player? And a jade plume terror shroom. And the millennial pearl seahorse. What is this guy's, huh? what is this guy's deal? You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently My trip to Natlin trip to not Natlin, long ago. Oh, they're going to little Natlin tidbits now. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. Imitation, huh? Why are they doing this here? Companion. You know, the people of Natlin, especially their warriors, like dressed in imitation of their Saurian. Saurian. Saurians. Saurians. I feel like it's Saurians. Natlon have Saurian. And... Companion. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that right the first time. Having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Nat... And when in full... Oh, what is that word? Panoply? Lon have sorry. The look every bit is brave. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I made myself a hat based on my Natlin friends. <laughs> kind of. Wait. Show us your you hat. Did you say that he came back Is that Natlin? the hat? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> where the virgin is. You think they're dinosaurs? On, right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce chickens are dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. Here you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategy. So what are we fighting things? If you've got the okay. guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. Yeah, this doesn't be, this is going to be a bit of a to adjust patch, the number patch. of negotiation strategies. So nice. if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty. Six hundred fifty percent HP. To test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Mm. That's cool. So yeah, so you got to choose your favorite strategies there? to come out on top. Play to your strengths. <laughs> wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers I mean, should be familiar with our next event. Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it uh, seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. I remember the name <laughs> of the That's event incredible. very clearly. Yeah, well, Cannot I say it. I remember exactly each what the round requires two teams. Oh, Before it's like each this. battle, you can set yeah. up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals Plunge and tag. receiver crystals. Hmm. 
Basically, and you get an EM increase? Oh, that's perfect for the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different I remember combinations, this now. you can I remember create this now. varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramela I can't Cruz. say and I remember like <laughs> loving it, but it wasn't for the worst combat event. Trigger harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each no shell burst necessary. Different trial characters. You gotta so you see for the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Dude, that's Be exciting. Sure to maximize your points. One step closer to C6. Exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the genius invocation TCG event, the Forge Realm. It's a Faros on card. In version 4 you think it's busted? The heated battle mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> I feel and like Cookies is going to be an overflowing mastery event. Wow. So you can more easily train up the characters. What about triple overflowing mastery drops? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank Hear you so out. much, Max. You just did an amazing yes. job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. That. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks, and guys. since you introduced so, so many weird. events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know this, what? This actual I squad here has been really better than the last so live stream squad. <laughs> so how about this is better. Now, well, I mean, let's check out the. The the last last these two are great, code. obviously. Yay! And these two are. Lu Lumine's <laughs> such a vibe. Sarah. She's great. That's really cool. Where did you meet her? Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in game Adds the quick obtain function, adds discounts for certain furnishings, furnishing blueprints, optimize the create furnishing module and increase the maximum number of creation queues. Interesting. As the filtering realm depot, the realm's music interface <laughs> systems. Nice. Ooh, First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serenity. I wish I would increase the load. As the quick obtain feature, instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. I hate the cheerful vibes. That does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so mm -hmm. convenient. The avatar system will also be updated. So I don't really know how to comment to on that. More portraits of your familiar friends as your profile <laughs> display. Happiness will always oh, come from women. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's Arama you and bet. the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue uh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed. Increase on the load. The I put like cats and down, and it's like map. nothing else. Sorry, no, no more, no more things for you. Information about different map layers. Your sets. Please I don't know if I've ever created a set. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration. Oh, yeah. Eradication. <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over Eradication. some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Ooh. Let's go, music! Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's hey, third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus. It's not like a crazy amount of primos, right? It's like 100? 10? 6. Between 10 and 100? This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related Shout out content. to TNB yeah. for working overtime and giving music us all the music. <laughs> Oh Bless no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know, yes. I know. So I think that yeah, so welcome it's in. time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, so this was longer. So Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have an answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. Okay. Got this. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll make go. it easy. Four K. Just really uh, from all the sets. Be very selfish and say that I'm. Just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, I think we're all pretty we excited. Did, we did a lot of work. The Harbingers are always her. like they're a vibe. She's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone. I like the else Harbingers. See how cool she is! Yeah. She's so cool. Oh, totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's. All I'm gonna say right now, guys. Yeah, I've got like high hopes yeah, for this so hard for this quest to play through. Spoiling anything, but I'm so so excited. I don't think that they're gonna try to. I don't think they're gonna disappoint with her, but that might just be my opinion. So good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So. Oh, um, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> 
Wow, I'm. Oh, and I'll have the viewer poll sign up too, out like probably tomorrow because really I'm off tomorrow. So I'll get everything out to you guys tomorrow morning. I love it so much. <laughs> for sure. And it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope everyone's excited. Yes, I am. Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I just have to say this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to be here with <laughs> you guys. Yeah, it's it's guys. Such a great time. That's a whole lot of love right there. So thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see, see you all in Bye. game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Okay. Ooh. Things I'm excited for, for sure. Well, the first thing I could think off the top of my head was was the <laughs> the quality of life enabled focus experience. Like this is like they were like, oh, hopefully this is better for players. Yes, it will be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, obviously, I'm looking forward to the boss fight. I'm looking forward to the story quest. She looks so sick. She looks so cool. I think she looks way cooler in her boss form, but I'll, I'll like a lot of it. A lot of. I mean, that's, that's not uncommon, I feel like. I mean, like, this, like, their boss form, right? So, Harbinger lore always goes, always goes hard. Change avatar. Friends, as your profile. <laughs> oh, dub. Uh, I completely just, like, glanced over oh, this. That's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's... Oh, here, this is exactly what we were talking about not that long ago. This is exactly what we're talking about, like kind of like uh, HSR and the Avatar. Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue uh, and more. This is amazing. As well as having like the character. Okay, cool. I wonder if they'll put that, if they'll include some of those with BP. Like you they think? do so. HSR. I'm sure lots of travelers like that. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The comp Okay, Pog. Yeah, that's nice. Will also to be honest, I thought that the treasure compass before was so bad and honestly, it, it felt unusable a lot of the time, especially in some of the Sumeru areas. Like, bro, <laughs> you would like there's, a, you know, the one, um, the one area where there's all those like Ruk Rukshava mushrooms or whatever there is. It would show. I think I walked around for 20 minutes and decided that I hated the treasure compass. I was never going to use them again. So this will be good. This will be good. This will be this will be nice. The Sumeru caves, it was like in the rainforest area, but well enough in your opinion really i can tell you guys exactly what i'm talking about because it'll tell you like oh go down but then if you the cooldown on it was also super long super Wait, super long sweet oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive mm -hmm. super long it's time to eradicate i feel like you'll, maps with you'll probably notice it's the most in progress room. heck yeah, yeah. to try to figure it out i can't agree yeah. <laughs> it was almost like rage inducing if you couldn't figure it out within like 10 minutes because honestly I think that shit was way underground into that one weird, crazy cave off. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about because I still have it pinned on my map. Yes. Now that we've and I gone think, over some updates. I don't even think it existed. To the game systems. I don't think it existed. Also, long cooldowns is not good for soundtrack people new. who are inherently <laughs> impatient. Sometimes, sometimes it's not bad. No, like it's not bad if it's like fairly, it, like what's the word I'm looking for? Like it, it seems... If it takes you only a couple minutes to figure it out, that's not too bad. But if it's just continuously just trying to figure out, running back and forth, going up and down, and just not having any idea of where it is, yeah. I'm just gonna move on. Yeah, Carry on. Right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This so there won't be any downtime. Yeah, that that is nice. I mean, I think it, team for the I think there was probably enough feedback, probably from people who felt similarly like me, that they actually like updated it. So, a Paimon profile icon? There probably will be. I would be surprised if they didn't have a Paimon profile icon, like, at all. I think I'd be pretty surprised. So, who is pulling for Arlecchino? Or who is going to attempt to pull for Arlecchino? And then, who is also going to be going for her and her weapon, hopefully? I'm hoping that the four-star weapons on the banner are not bad. I'm just thinking, like, if I, if I get first great magic, which I think the bow itself is a dope-looking weapon, I'm just thinking, like, who else would I want to use it on that I actually have on my account? <laughs> That's the thing. Because I'm like, my main charge attack uh, character is Tignori and I just got his weapon. Read this patch out of 10. Like, just from the preview. It depends on if the story is goaded. Probably like a 7.5.
You're gonna go for her in the weapon? The weapon's super cool. Yeah, but I already, I just got Tignori's signature bow, so it's like, who else might use it on? I guess maybe for Chris Tat. Can't you stole the Game of Thrones name for the cats or pounce? And the other weapon makes it hard? Yeah, yeah. I was hoping she was gonna be paired with Nilu. Because that would have been a much more enticing weapon banner, in my opinion, than than first grade magic. Which is fine. Like it's it's okay if you can utilize it. It's just like I do not have the characters besides like Tignar and it's like I'm it's not gonna be better than a signature. It probably makes sense. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, if it feels like if you guys think it feels Nouvellet coded for this fight, then likely he may end up showing up during the story. Like, think about it. <laughs> he might just be like oh, Again, <laughs> he just kind of like shows up, saves the world. <laughs> this patch? No. Nope. Nope. They didn't say it, yeah? Yeah, they said it. They said it was not going to be consistent. They said it was going to be like basically every once in a while for the Chronicle banner. It's definitely not going to be consistent. The, I mean, the Baiju's patch right here is shaping up like when Liyue does have their Chronicle banner, which I feel like Liyue would be next because I feel like Liyue is one of the easier ones to do because of just of how long some of the characters have been out. It's going to be, I think that would be the next one. And then it would make sense for it to be Inazuma. And then it would make sense for it to be, you know, Sumeru and, and so forth. All I'm thinking, like, all I'm thinking about is how the weapon, how the weapons pair together. But it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, I think it's cool. They like to put characters on banners where they're usually involved in some way. I can't say. Unless, unless Wanderer just shows up in Sino's Quest, that'd be kind of cool. And then it's Wanderer and Baiju. So... I feel like I feel like this was strategic, like strategic to the Chronicle banner. Otherwise, I have I would have no idea why he got another run because his last run was would have been what four patches ago, and then Wander's last run would have been like summertime, right before summertime patch. Last he's, he's it's been a little while for him. It's been a little while for him, but. Yeah, which was also not a good weapon banner for him, honestly. Stop giving him, to, to, stop pairing him with donut. <laughs> donut related weapons. Why are they doing that? He ran with Farina. Yeah, he ran with Farina. Five point something then? They could also do the Chronicle Wish during the summer patch. They could also do something like that. that that's, that's very possible. But I think like all in all, looking forward to it. It's been a little dry, so this will be a good patch. I'm looking forward to the story. I hope that they do her justice and not like a like ride in redemption but i would like i would like it i'm i'm, ho I'm hoping that it's just as good as wanderers was so what i mean is that like that's what they do that's what they do every playable character has some form of like a redemption a redeeming arc it's the, it's it's the way i'm excited and that means I'll have to be... I'm going to need my Arlequino pulls to go really well. So we can do really well on the second half.